got sick in Florida, man. That's a shame. Bruh. Uh, you know what? I didn't... I was fine the whole trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, fun. So That's fun. I'll take that. Josefo got on the last day. It was kind of ass. Bro, well, Jose <laughs> holy shit, bro. Josefo the last day was great because we we had like a semi, not like an early flight, but like we were going to get to the airport at like good, 7 o'clock, yeah, 10 o'clock, time, I think time. something like that. No so Josefo was like, I bet I feel a little sick. If I time this medicine right, I'll be asleep on the plane. So he's, he takes NyQuil. I take Dayquil. Yeah. I'm like, ah, Nyquil might get a little risky. We have a connecting flight. Mm-hmm, I don't want y'all mm-hmm. to have to like drag mm-hmm. me to the plane. <laughs> Our flight gets delayed. Well, the Nyquil kicks in for Josefo, and it just it's like if you've ever stayed awake on Nyquil, it is you're 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 high on drugs. Like it's you're, you're fucked loopy? up. Yeah, you're loopy. You're a little delusional. Like it's fucked up. It's not a fun time. You're sweaty. Oh yeah, sweaty is the worst part. Oh, it's fucking not good. So that was fun though. We got a Josefo was just all fucked up on the last day. Yeah, all that was rough. All the de- all the delays were kind of ass, huh? We got kicked out of our Airbnb. Not nah, kicked out, but no, like. No, well, we thought, like, so we called. We're like, yo, can we get, like, a late? I'm like, Joseph, we should call him, man. Like, later stay, bro. The, yeah, the, the flight got delayed. At least an hour or two, perhaps. Yeah, maybe a couple hours. So yeah, we yeah, called. Yeah. They're like, yeah, no problem. You can stay until the cleaning crew gets there. Ah. The second they said that, I was like, fuck, that could be good or really bad. Because the cleaning crew might show up at, like, 11.05. Right. Sometimes they're on it. Sometimes they're on it. Sometimes they're just like, boom, boom, boom. Or they might get there at, like, 3 o'clock, and we can just kick it. Right. Chill. Yeah, they showed up at 11.07. Yeah, it was fucked up. It was they got fucking their not okay. They got their, dang. Well, we were eating, too. We were eating food. Yeah, and they were just, inserting the little code. And you can hear the code going in. Like, we were no. like, oh, no. But the Airbnb was dope. It was the Airbnb cool. was cool. Yeah, both Airbnb was cool. Was little, cool. I little... popped up a little stream from there. Oh, yeah, nice. That's a fun time. Yeah, it was super chill, man. Oh, yeah, there was that little, like, what do you call those rooms? There's a certain sun word room. for those. Mm, was that sun sun room? Room. I think so. Yeah, 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 but they had, like, uh, it was it was enclosed but open. If yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Like so I feel like, like in California, it. it's like built out more in like glass. True. This was yeah, like yeah, yeah. Screen. Yeah, was like yeah. Just this one was just like just to keep the bugs out. I feel like. Yeah. I don't know how y'all do it with the fucking bugs in Florida, bro. You don't I, fuck with the bugs. I don't get mosquito bites. Like I just don't get them. I yeah. have like six out there. Oh, you said you just don't get them. What do you mean by that? They just don't bite me out here. <laughs> I, they don't like the way I take. I don't know, bro. That's like they just don't bite me out here. But my wife will get like destroyed. Oh. Like we'll go out, she'll get, and they're, if they're out, she'll get a bunch of bites. I'll get nothing. But in Florida, bro, they was just they don't care. They don't have a taste preference. I think they're just out here. They just fucking biting. They just eat. I got bro. a couple mosquito bites out there for sure, but way less than I was expecting. No doubt. I usually get fucked up by mosquitoes, but I was kind of chill. Yeah, somebody they chill. got somebody in our group for sure. They, I feel like one cooked. person gets like the majority of the attack. I don't mm. know. Why. I don't know. But maybe man, they coordinate. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like playing. Like, bzzz. Damn. I had such a good time in Florida, though, man. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, Florida is a good ass time, man. I um, it was hot as shit. Did you yeah. enjoy that? No, and it, I'm <laughs> glad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad I stayed home on the day when y'all just walked around. Mm-hmm. Cause fuck, bro, I would. I was get, I was starting to get sick too. I would. Oh, I would even miserable, cooked, huh? bro. Cause y'all walked like mom. Yeah, it was pretty bro. crazy. Honestly. Y'all put in, in the heat. I was tweaking. Work. Yeah, in the heat too, bro. <laughs> bro, and it's not that it's hot. Okay, like Florida's just wet. That's the problem, bro. Nah, like, it's hot too. It's hot too. Yeah, it's for sure not, hot too. So like 90 degrees in Florida versus 90 degrees here is not the same. You're right. You're it's right. not the same. Like I can handle. I, I'd rather have 105 degrees here than than 85 in Florida, low key. Because it's different, like that that humidity. I could feel that. I that could that, that makes sense to me. That humidity is fucking the worst, bro. It feels like you're in a steam room. <laughs> like like go in your shower right now and turn that bitch max on heat. Leave, and then just walk in. After. Leave it. Yeah, leave leave your house and then come back in like twenty minutes and walk in that fucking room. That's what Florida feels like all day long. Facts. Facts. But, even at night. Even at night. Bro, and it's like, bro, the sun's not even out and it's hot bro, as fuck. It's bro, crazy. It'd be in eighty degrees at nighttime and it's fucking. 80% humidity. Yeah. Because Florida's so fucking awesome. It's just the humidity. If I could remove the humidity, bro, I'm in. Yeah. I'm in like 100% Florida. Yeah, actually, I fuck with it. The beaches are real nice. The people are chill. The beaches fucking. Are fucking mad. The food. Ooh, the food is pretty good. The I fuck coffee, with the food. I bro, with I went food. to a bodega and got a Cuban coffee. I thought I was on oh, fucking cocaine. Interesting. Mark took us to a fucking spot and I thought I was tripping balls, dude. That sounds nice. They had me and fish on fucking just the most, I don't know what it was called, something con leche. It had like condensed milk with the es- espresso. Yeah. <laughs> just milk and espresso, that's it? Mm, well, condensed Some Cuban milk. shit. Yeah, oh. bro. bro. Oh. Bro, and this, it tastes so good what that you have to keep milk? drinking. You just squish it. It's like that liquid. All I know is, I thought I was going to sleep on that fucking five-hour drive that we had across Florida. Bro, I was just in the backseat. Oh, <laughs> just vibing. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. What just are we doing? Just vibing. Bro, 
geeked, man. It was fucking insanity. Wait, vegan? so did you fuck with the Cuban coffee? You'd get bro, another one? Bro, no I was doubt. on cocaine. I don't know. Damn. They might have sold cocaine back there. Oh. And just sprinkled a little in there, that dude. That is some fucking Cuban ass And then we got shit. like a little breakfast sandwich in there, too. It was lit. Cuban breakfast sandwich? Yeah, uh, I don't know if it was. I mean, it was made by some uh, Cuban individuals. We did go to a um, a restaurant and get a Cuban sandwich, and you hated that shit. You <sighs> hated that a, shit. I I've never I seen. I didn't hate it. You, it was yeah. not good, though. Josefa, Josefa validated it, though. It was not good. It was not good. You're like crazy. I thought it was pretty good. I feel like you're too nice on food. You think so? Yeah, you're like... You, I enjoyed be, it, though. Like, I ate it. I ate it and enjoyed it. I was like, damn, this is a tasty sandwich. The bread, I mean, was, I, the bread was crispy. Like, and there's a lot of meat in there. I thought like the meat-to-bread ratio was perfect. Some Hell of it meat. was cold. And when I thought it was supposed to all be warm, like, parts were warm, parts were cold. I was just confused. Mm, I was you confused were feeling it, huh? I don't know. That's how sandwiches be, though. You get the cold lettuce, you get the warm meat. There was no lettuce. It was just meat and cheese. That's why I was I was like, why is the meat and cheese cold on this bite, bro? I was tweaking. I was like, what the fuck? No way. Mine tasted good as hell. <laughs> For one, though, too, didn't you? you got, was the steak one valid? Uh, see, Josefo liked the steak one more, and I did not like the steak one more. You know what? Honestly, so I don't know. it's the beauty of food. Because yeah. some people can like stuff, some people cannot like stuff. At the end of the day, it's fucking True. awesome. We were with a, um, a local, and he said he's had a lot of Cubans, and he said this one was pretty good. So I don't know if I trust I him honestly don't know if I believe his uh, food opinion. I don't know. Come on, babe. That, you, don't believe, me, you don't believe his taste buds? That made me question it. I was like, this sandwich is not it, bro. Like, I would not get that sandwich again. No way. And I would try something like else. A, you gave it like a four or something, right? You gave it, you gave it a real low nah, rating. No, I think I gave it like a six. No. Yeah. Really? Like, ed- it was edible. Oh, okay. Like, that's nice. Under five, like, I probably you probably stop eating it, right? I did stop eating it. I wasn't that hungry, though. <laughs> I wasn't that hungry. <laughs> did you have a favorite food that we got out there? I'm trying to remember everything. Did I have a favorite food that we had? There's a lot of Italian. We got some Italian shit. Yeah, no, uh, 100%. The uh, super fire Italian spot that we went to, Casa de something. That shit that was, was fucking good. amazing, bro. There was homemade was noodles. Oh, my God. I had... Oh, and then I had a South African lobster tail with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you keep telling me about this lobster tail, it. man. It was pretty you good. It was pretty good. It, dude. I didn't know Come that. On. I didn't know different lobsters from different places had, like, a specific taste or, or te- anything I think it's the more than anything it's the texture of it too like it's a little sweeter for sure it's a little sweeter of a lobster but the texture I don't know if it's because it's smaller or what but it's it's not as fucking rubbery or something I don't know interesting big ass they like cook the same like, exact way as another one you think it's still like I think they cook it the same I don't think they cook it any different yeah yeah, yeah. right I don't know probably not I'm not I'm not a fucking real say I don't fucking know I never buy lobster though, but anytime someone says like I got you saw I got excited when he said South African lobster. Yeah, like, yeah, your eyes your eyes started like, glowing and shit. I was like, let's go, bro, because I just know that shit's so good. Then they give you that big ass like fucking butter. Ooh, oh, felt it. oh the butter, the butter. Yeah, lobster's pretty good, man. I got a couple people who hate on lobster because it's like you know nah, I think, think of like historical mid. and shit. Well, oh. it used to be like for the, the poor's, the peasants, yeah. the poor's, <laughs> <laughs> the peasants. What's worse, the poor's or the peasants? <laughs> I think the peasants was like the official name. Was that the, like the terminology? You're I think a peasant. So. <laughs> How crazy. <laughs> That's where it originated. Yeah, for real. You can call the peasant. That's fucked up. I'd damn. be like, bruh. Don't call me a peasant, damn it. We have to mention this. I seen, I just, it caught my eye at the end of there. Josefo's t-shirt. Oh, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. So I wasn't there, so you got to lead this, bro. So <laughs> what the fuck? So we fucking go out into the ocean, right? Um, you know, you go out into the ocean, you leave all your stuff at the beach, you walk, swim or whatever, and you come back to your stuff. Um, we come back to our stuff. <laughs> pack up a little bit and then we walk to where the little showers are you know to get your you know to get all the salt off or whatever yeah, and yeah, all yeah. the sand off and such and then Josefa does that reaches in his bag and then he's like i don't have my t-shirt <laughs> we walked mad far already so it's not like we can walk back to like try to look for it it's like oh shit like you're gonna have to buy another one for sure <laughs> like uh, it's gone you know i think he's missing one sock too which is pretty funny <laughs> and then um so we're just like all right let's go to the you know local shop let's see what we got and it happened to be one of those like you know those super touristy places that you can print your own t-shirts on and Wait, you can you guys didn't even tell me this it was a custom made <laughs> it was a custom t-shirt bro we walked this by part. we walked by the display and we that were like oh so yeah much better. Some... <laughs> what the fuck what the way what the fuck that we makes... walk by we see all the design options and we're like oh shit there's a lot of really funny trump ones <laughs> like there's a lot of really funny ones bro the funniest one for sure is the one that he got where he's like matrix dodging the bullets dude he's he's, <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> like it's fucking incredible. When they showed it to me, I was like, "What the fuck?" So is not this? only could you choose the graphic, but Josefa was like, "Give it to me on a big red T-shirt." <laughs> the brightest bro, this red shirt, shirt ever. Hell dude. yeah, that shit was made in like five minutes tops. He killed it. It was it was a nice. Oh shirt. fuck, Rocked dude, it. When you guys, yeah, and they, the fact they just wore it the rest of the day is fucking <laughs> incredible. He comes. Well, he didn't have another option. We you guys were, all we come back. The whole day, I mean, literally. there was a ton of other options. You could have bought. <laughs> you could have bought any other shirt in the store. <laughs> There's a lot of shit like just Florida, like Florida T-shirts, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turned him into a Florida man right there for sure, bro. God, when he showed it to me at the Airbnb, I was like, this is fucking incredible. I was like, there's no way you walked all around Florida wearing this shit, dude. The looks. Walked up and down Florida. For sure got looks from a whole bunch of people, you know what I mean? Got a, got a couple, you know, oh, supports fuck. as well. It's Florida. But God shit. damn it, that's so awesome. Even the store owner, I think, was like, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of crazy, right? Are you sure you're trying to go with this, this design here? It was a good one, oh, though, goddamn. Fuck. He loved it. He was laughing. Hey, he tried to sell us some dude. They had some crazy ass. He had like an eight gram vape that was half weed, half shrooms. And I was like, what, what the, the fuck? You're trying to kill people. What the fuck does that even mean? Half weed, half shroom. <laughs> Just literally pure chemicals, bro. I don't even know what was in there. But like it was in that same shop and they're like, and he was like, do you guys crazy. smoke? And then he pulled out the little fucking crazy THCA section, but it didn't stop at THCA. It was like, they had everything. They, they had all the chemicals, the bruh. Fuck, dude. <laughs> that was the oh. craziest one. It was I've never like, heard a, of a shroom. There was an eight paper. gram. It was fat as fuck, bro. Like it was the biggest shit I've ever seen, bro. Oh, that literally blows my fucking <laughs> mind right now. That is that is the craziest fucking thing in the world. I think the shrooms one was two and two, so maybe a little smaller, you know? Two grams of weed, though? two grams of shrooms. Do we, what are we doing? I don't think you can pick which one you're getting either you're just same time <laughs> yeah i think it's at the same who time. buys so oh, people be buying the dumbest <laughs> shit bro i swear to god that's just some florida shit yeah they definitely sell it because he asked us that's you know? the same person that's smoking that has the same people fucking smoking like or inhaling the nitrous flavor oh, shit. oh same type person is buying it oh it definitely has same to person. be like same person they're like if you buy it at the store it can't be that bad Kind yeah, of if vibe, you buy right? nitrous, get a fucking shroom vape for free. It's a fucking Damn. deal. <laughs> That's no doubt a deal going on at one smoke shop right now. In the buy country. one shroom vape, get a DMT vape for free. Fucking oh, lit. Shit. There's someone in the comments like, oh, where's that at? <laughs> I would love to go. They would most definitely do that. How'd you like being a delivery driver, Tim? That was fun. That was super Little cool, trap man. artist. Haven't done that in a while. Damn, so cool. yeah. Haven't hit the road, delivered some pack in a while, man. Shout out to everyone that ordered Pine Park over the weekend. Shout out to anyone that we were able to deliver to. Shout out my boy Chris. That was a fun Shout time for sure. Shout out to the McDonald's, dude. That was oh, funny. pulls yes. up to the homie at the McDonald's cool and says, yeah, I, this happens. I, I get my weed delivered here all the time. He said, managers are cool with it. That's fire. That was lit. He was like mid shift, bro. Full gear. Super mid shift. Like had the hat on. We waited a couple extra minutes. He was probably finishing up some orders. Yeah, you know he was probably I mean? cooking something up. No, that was lit. I had a good time, man. It was cool. Shout out to to, to the whole team out there. Uh, yeah. Goldflower, Ideal. We appreciate you guys. Nah, that it was shit a blessing. Was awesome. We're driving in a little Tessie drank a bunch and of, a Lexus. You drank know a bunch I mean? of tequila too. Some El Cristiano. Oh Christian, yeah, you know? Cristiano. We drank, a whole, we drank a whole bottle. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, we did drink. We a drank whole a whole bottle, bottle bro. That was lit. That was a good time. Yeah, we did. That was a, it was a real Florida man trip. It was a real Florida man trip. We just uh, our next trip will probably be in the next few months. We got to do some real Florida man activities. Okay, yes, yeah, so maybe we, some gator things. We were talking maybe about some this. motherfucking. Yeah, yeah. What is it called? The the boat with the big fan fan boat. Oh, one of those. Damn, where do you do that in the Everglades or whatever? I don't know, we'll find somewhere. What do you do? You just ride around. Yeah, they probably take you to look at like maybe go see like crazy big python or something. Oh, I don't know. fuck. We'll probably see some gators. Nah, for sure. I bet you Florida's got crazy zoos. Some we got to go to a some zoo or some shit. I'm down to hunt a gator. Can we do that? Dang, is that, is that legal? Is that wrong? It might be wrong. Well, let's eat wrong? it. Let's eat it. What do you mean wrong? What the fuck is wrong about it? Hunting is not wrong. Hey man, if you're just Chill. chilling random animals, right, vegan unless they're like invasive species, you know what I'm saying? Or you're gonna eat it. Yeah, we'll eat it. All right, let's and do it. make a backpack. Let's do it. <laughs> well, too. Dude, are there gator rugs? Shoes. Oh my god, shoes. Oh, gator we'll shoes. Gator shoes. Those they are expensive. We're Florida man is fuck. Yeah, expensive bro. thing, damn near. We'll get our gator shoe. That's the first one. Hunt the gator. Yeah, we'll use the whole thing. Yeah, People yeah, will be happy about it. Waste, People will be happy about it. We won't waste it. a fucking bit of it. Damn. We'll even use like the parts that we don't want to eat as like bait, and we'll go fishing. Oh, very us, nice. Cut us. off the claw and use it as Peter, a little friend. We got you. Yeah, a claw. We'll keep that too. Yeah, yeah. Scratch your back or something. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. What other Florida activities could we do though? That was we just gotta watch like the Fishing. GTA trailer or something like that. Cocaine. Fishing's a good one. Strip Fishing's clubs. a good one. Yeah, fishing, strip clubs. <laughs> like what else do you do? It's just just a bunch of fucking Get a BBL. crazy shit. 
you're going to get a BBL? Like, <laughs> the procedure done? Holy Maybe shit. we stop by the office, like Just Dr. Do. Miami or whatever, see what's yeah. popping, like, interview yo, someone. Can we get a Pine Park discount code? Oh. <laughs> Use Pine Dr. Miami. What, at Dr. Miami? That'd be the craziest <laughs> plug ever, bro. You can get fucking <laughs> discounts on BBLs just for fucking listening Holy to Holy shit, that'd be, dude. What the hell? That'd be incredible. Oh, man, speaking of bongs, what the fuck were those dumb things you bought at the fucking trip? Those little Whoa, $10 incredible. bongs were, were fucking lit, dude. That was the dumbest they were awesome. price I've ever seen in my life. Nah, those prices didn't even make sense. Right <laughs> down the street from the meet and greet location, I was, you know, posted up a little bit, trying to see what's good with the local town. And I um, stopped by a little smoke shop. It was the craziest smoke shop because half of it was a smoke shop and half of it was the most snacks I'd ever seen. But they weren't weren't even like rare or exotic snacks. It was snacks. just a fuckload of snacks. Like yeah, yeah, shitload. But Doritos. they were like the individual packets. You know what I mean? So it was like individual bags of chips and fucking like the small I ones. Bet. They know it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like aisles and aisles of it. It was actually insane. Um, so random. But they also had some very, like I, at first I didn't even know that they had pieces at all because they were hidden in like this little corner. All of it was just vapes and snacks. It was like, like a vape and crazy. snack shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they had a little section of bongs and they were the cheapest bongs I had ever seen in my entire life, bro. Like China's China, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. this is like, I don't know how they were able to get the prices so cheap. I bought two bongs for $10 each, you know what I mean? One for 20 it was ridiculous. Three bongs for forty dollars total. It was ridiculous, and it were it were fun. Bowls bongs. included. Yeah, bowls included. They were like, fun. The Wrapped them up for me. You know what I mean. One of them, I think you didn't even get a hit. Though I think it fell. One of them <laughs> broke. One of them broke right away, and I've never been less upset. And I was like, ah, oh. I was like, it's shit. Man. I've definitely lost ten dollars like quicker. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, definitely, man. You're playing <laughs> no, no. a fucking roulette hand. Like, oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Shit, yeah, that's like I would much rather have this than like one spin at the table. You know? Nah, that was fucking great. When you pulled out the the Spooderman bong, I was like, Oh <laughs> man, the Spooderman. I wish I had it here with me, man. Oh, I did upload the video one. on my channel if you want to check it out. It's it's Spooderman, bro. It's a classic. You know who Spooderman is? It's fucking great. God, I love Spooderman. Nah, but those are lit. Those are lit. It was a good fucking time, man. Dude, Florida in general was a great time. I can't wait to go back when it's not as hot. That's going to be a vibe for sure. A couple months. I'm ready. <laughs> couple months, man. I'm don't want to... Um, we're not going to spoil... Oh. That's just instinct. That's just instinct, <laughs> man. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything that's going down in Florida nah, in nah, December. Nah. But listen, we're going to be back, I believe. And we're going to have a lot of motherfucking fun. A lot of fun things going down in Florida in December. Yes, and I imagine it's because of the weather, especially. You know what I mean? People want to yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. It makes total sense. Going to have to hit the club or something. Still haven't been to 11 or live. or well, They got a couple things out there in Miami <laughs> that we got to see with Bob. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> Um, so if you're in Florida, look forward to it. Uh, shout out to anyone who met at the meet and greet. And if you are in Florida, make sure to vote yes on three coming yes. in November, man. Hit the booth. I don't care who you're voting for, but make sure you just get recreational bud in mm. the hands of the people, man. Right now we got Goofy's, peanut butter breath, and lemon pastries for you guys. Uh, we're going to have a lot more coming soon. A lot more concentrates, Ooh. damn near. Almost ready. Almost. They should be dropping relatively soon, though, for sure. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm getting a great pink, 